Hey, C Center Baptist Church family, it's Pastor Brad coming to you from DDQ headquarters. Digging deep with question number one this week asks, what do you learn from Paul's confident contrast between our earthly bodies and our heavenly ones from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1? There are many things in life we don't know. How the economy will perform, when a natural disaster will occur, or when the Toronto Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup. However, there are some things that we can know with certainty. We will be taxed, death stalks us all, and fame and fortune are corrupting. The Bible also tells us that there are some things that we as believers can know for certain. We know God loves us. We know our sins have been forgiven by Christ's sacrificial death on the cross. And as the Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, when this life on earth ends, there is a bright future awaiting us. There was no doubt in Paul's mind. It was a settled fact based on the bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Death had been defeated, evil had been upended, and eternal life had been secured. This is the reason the resurrection is central to Christianity. If Christ had not been raised from the dead, we would not know if our sins had been paid for, and we would continue to live in fear, shame, guilt, and doubt. However, when Christ triumphantly arose, the whole universe was put on notice that life had overwhelmed death, light had vanquished darkness, and what is mortal had been swallowed up by life. Here's what we learn from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Our mortal bodies will die. No surprise there. Our earthly house, the tent, as Paul called it, will one day be dismantled and folded up. The death of Queen Elizabeth reminds us that that, that that destiny faces us all, rich and poor, famous or unknown, powerful or powerless. We are frightfully temporal, mortal, and susceptible to all kinds of illnesses and injuries. But the good news is we have a building from God. The tent of our physical body is temporary. The building of God is eternal in the heavens. It is not made by human hands, but rather by the hand of God. This is the hope of every Christian. We have eternal life because of the Lord Jesus. Our future is bright and secure. Daniel received the message that he would rest and then arise at the end of the age to receive his inheritance in Daniel chapter 12, verse 13. In Mark 14, verse 58, Jesus' own words were misquoted against him, but he was referring to his bodily resurrection from the grave. And in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21, we are reminded that our true citizenship is in heaven. That would not make any sense if there wasn't life after this life and a new body to anticipate. So, let's hold on to the things we know for certain, like our heavenly bodies to come, that we might face the uncertain times in which we live. This has been Pastor Brad coming to you from DDQ Headquarters.